hey guys welcome to my channel if you've been here before welcome back honey and if this is your first time here welcome 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 i hope you stay i hope you stick around take a tour you just might like it actually i know you will so guys for today's video as you can see by the title of the video i will be showing you what is in my bag as an endo girly so this is part of the everyday segment i've shown you guys a little bit of what i eat in terms of the smoothies that i make the things that i gravitate to when buying these smoothies ingredients um and so on and so forth so i just thought this would be an important segment just so we dive a little bit deeper into the everyday as an endo girly if you are an endo girly your situation is not like other people's and so it's a little bit um, it's important to be a little bit more cognizant of what you take with you so you're not um you don't find yourself in an uncomfortable situation either you're stranded because you don't have the means to call someone and and ask for help or you have a flare and you're so paralyzed with pain that you can't move so these are things that i take with me every single day to make my life easier a little bit easier you know having endo is very difficult but these things just make my life a little bit easier in terms of functioning in terms of performance throughout the day when i'm doing my activities when i'm engaging with people people don't need to know you're an endo girly by looking at you and so these things that i take with me make it not to hide the pain or to mask it, but just so I can function normally and like I'm, you can't, I can't be spotted from a mile away that, ooh, okay, she has endo, she has a play. What's going on with her? You know what I mean? Okay, so um, this is my bag, one of my favorite bags. She's very, very cute. If you're interested and you'd like to get it as well, I got this bag at H&M. So let me plug you. That's a little bit of a plug. I got it at the beginning of Feb. By the time this video drops, it would have been the first week of May so you might get it you might get something better good luck my girl um so i tend to gravitate more towards small bags simply because i'm just they, they fit very well into my aesthetic i'm not those big girl i'm not those big bag girlies um the ted bakers and stuff like that unless if it's a work vibe but if it's like very casual social vibes i'm going out for a coffee date lunch date solo date fun things over the weekend and i'm not working the, the small girl is my girl and so when i buy bags i make sure that in as much as they look really great aesthetically i mean this is very aesthetically pleasing they have enough space on the inside to cater to all of the things that i need to take with me because like i said you an endo girly you are not like the other girls who can just like, manage off of just going off with um lipstick and and the the phone in the bag you need a little bit more so i can't just go off with my lipstick and a phone i need more so let me not ramble you guys you know you guys know how i get i tend to ramble so let me not go on and on and on let me just show you what's in the bag i've packed it but i'll empty it and then we'll pack it together the first thing that i have in my bag is a jungle oats bar so this is a breakfast bar a cereal bar and i like it primarily because of what it contains it has uh it, it contains oats with coconut apple seeds and pineapple flavor so um it's high in fiber high in energy and very low in sodium if you have endo or you know someone who has endo or you just know about endo you know that seeds are really good for you because of what they contain i've spoken about this in one of my other videos uh i'll just say it again they are uh seeds are high in fiber and fiber is really great and are just managing like what's going on in your stomach it just regulates your bowel movements because endo tends to most often more often than not it tends to aggravate your stomach might cause changes in your bowel movements so fiber is really good for you I gravitate towards seeds i gravitate towards um I'll, I'll talk about this in a separate video but seeds are good for you they're your friend so this is what i take with me uh, this is in case of an emergency for example if i need i get a flare because flares just come out of nowhere sometimes i get a flare and i need to take a painkiller but i haven't eaten yet find that wherever i'm going i don't know what time i'm gonna eat or if i'm going out to eat i don't know you know preparation to, uh, preparation time differs from restaurant to restaurant and also depending on what you've ordered so i don't want to find myself in a situation where i'm waiting on my food to arrive or i have to quickly find stop whatever i'm doing whether it's shopping or whatever socializing meeting someone i have to stop what i'm doing so i can find a place to eat because i need to take a painkiller to get this flare to stop doing whatever it's doing to just stop it dead in its tracks no so i take this with me in case of such emergencies we're so as so as not to be desperate i feel like when you're hungry you really make you make really bad decisions and 
you operating from a place of desperation is never great <clears throat> operating from a place of desperation is never great so i have this with me to stop all that just take this so that i have something in my stomach to accommodate a painkiller it's not advisable to take medication whether a painkiller or any other kind of medication on an empty stomach because if you have endo the last thing you need is to get an ulcer and if you take medication on an empty stomach you would become more susceptible to developing an ulcer or ulcers so i tried to make my life easier and avoid unnecessary drama so this is it the first thing that goes into the bag and then for the bar we also have painkillers so i've taken my cereal bar usually in the morning if it's a work situation like when i go to work uh sometimes it's very boring to have bread every single time i don't eat breakfast at home so because i get up early i get to work and i start eating breakfast at around 10 it makes more sense that way and i usually have bread and tea or like a sandwich or just toast so like in terms of like what i do with the bread the variations of the bread there's not so much you can do with bread so on days when i'm feeling like i don't want to have the same thing again i just have the breakfast the cereal bar and then over the weekend like i said if i don't have to work this is just in case of an emergency so regardless of when i have the cereal bar it has benefits and i feel like it has helped me i see these noticeable changes in my body so on the note of painkillers um if you have watched my previous videos if you haven't been watching them and this is the first video you're watching can you finish this one and go back or stop right there honey and go watch the others so you can catch up because all the things that i mentioned are things that i've mentioned before so sometimes i don't emphasize or dwell much on them because i feel like i've said this before let me not bore all the other people and say it again so this comes from a very big box it makes no sense for me to go around with the box this is what the box looks like um this is what it looks like the box usually stays at home and then when the pill packet has run out i just grab another one so this is what it looks like it's not sustainable for me to go around with this big thing because a it's really suspicious looking b the bags that i use don't accommodate a size of this a box of this size or a box of this magnitude so i just take out the pill packet and let's uh, take it with me on the go as you can see i've already started i've already opened it because these parts are empty so usually when this one is done i just cut cut this part and go with the rest so yeah you could fold it like so and put it in your bag that's what i usually do or cut it like i said i just need to take this one and then this part is completely off okay so these are the painkillers that i take flares come out of nowhere flares will catch you off guard i don't like to be caught off guard there have been so many instances where i've left the house and i've forgotten my painkillers and because of how like the world works and because this is the world i would get a flare but then i haven't had a flare in the week on the friday the last day of the week i've forgotten my pills and then boom so i have this in every bag in my work bag and my normal bag my church bag every single bag has painkillers because i don't like to be caught off guard and i like to be prepared for situations so this has been great and also because of the size right so this is the second thing that goes on into my bag we fight flares we deal with flares head on and if you've eaten something and you've taken the pills they might not be too um too strong you might not get as drowsy as you normally would if you were a little bit hungry or you had nothing in your stomach at all and the next one is a pad so this could either be a pad a tampon or a panty liner because uh with endo most of the time uh because of medication you take you could experience irregular periods so your cycle isn't something that you can just track easily and your period will just come out of nowhere and because you're always in pain it's a little bit difficult to detect whether this is period pain meaning that it's ushering in my period or this is just pain on the regular jugular. So you take a pad with you. I take a pad with me because I don't like be being caught off guard. I don't like nasty surprises. And a period just coming out of nowhere is a nasty surprise. And I don't like asking other women for pads. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, we are a community. But I just feel like if I can avoid that, I do. And so I take this with me everywhere. It, I'd rather have this in my bag shifted around to the point where this thing opens up and I have to put another one in my bag and actually use the one that's opened up than having nothing because I feel as though I've been fine, I've been fine, you're not, you just, your body sometimes does what it wants to do and so I, we're at war so I'm just like you're the boss, 
my body sometimes acts like it's a boss of me and i'm like you're the boss you run this show honey i also run this show i came prepared so a pad this will save your life lifesaver so like i said a pad a tampon a panty line also because of the size this is a the stay free brand this fits very nicely in all my bags and also for comfort comfort wise i like her if you needed a, a recommendation this video isn't sponsored but if you needed a recommendation stay free is she's that girl for for all other things and then i also have here toilet paper this is gonna sound silly but guys hear me out i don't like using the box of tissues that you normally use to blow your nose if you have blue or whatever because of uh how it feels i feel like toilet paper is softer when you're wiping down there this is just a personal preference you could use that i mean i'm not judging i'm just saying and so i just this is from the toilet roll whenever i go out i just roll 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 put this in my bag it's not even that deep here. you roll it and then you fold it very nicely like this i fold it nicely and it goes beautifully into my bag and this is because when you have endo guys you like me not everyone i pee a lot and you find that in certain instances certain bathroom stalls don't have toilet paper or because you're peeing so frequently you might you might end up by the time you go back someone could have finished the toilet paper and i don't like what i've said this before i don't like nasty surprises i do not like being caught off guard so i have this because i pee a lot so whether you're at groove you're at a party you're at a restaurant you're out you are at work this is gonna be so helpful because toilet paper really runs out and if you don't wipe down there after peeing oh, now you're just opening up a, a possible like you're opening up possibilities for a lot of things you could get a uti it changes the smell of your underwear uh because you are not if you're not wiping down there it's gonna cause a lot of moisture to build up which is gonna cause a whole area of problems more problems than you already have so let's mitigate the number of things we have to deal with toilet paper is your friend even if you go out and you find that wherever you're going there is toilet paper there's no shame in keeping it with you until the next time you might need it because there's nothing as boring as you, you've sat down there you've peed you look to your right or your left whatever and you find that there's nothing you find that there's nothing there's like a strip on that toilet paper thing on that you know the brown thing and there's a strip and then you're, you're fucked because what, what are you gonna do so i have this with me all the time those who know me know that i always have toilet paper in my bags it annoys my sister whenever we're together and i'm like she wants something oh can i have a lip liner can i have this can i have your phone and i'm like it's in the bag and she knows that you have to like rummage through the bag and you will meet tons and tons of toilet paper because she, she just has a thing with toilet paper because i mean you never know if it's been used like if i wiped my nose with it or whatever so i'm just that girl if there's anything i have on me it's toilet paper i don't care i want to be prepared so that's what i always keep in my bag on the everyday of course i also have my phone i make sure that my phone is always charged fully charged in the case of an emergency in case i have a flare and it's really knocking me down and i need to call someone to fetch me or i need to call someone to come and you know to come and get me or whatever i like to be prepared i feel like i've said this a thousand times in this video you guys get it but yeah make sure that your phone is always fully charged when you leave the house if you have like an iphone which i don't i also always have a power bank just in case either a power bank or my charger when i go to work i take another charger a work charger and then a power bank i'm not really like into power banks but it's important to have one in the case of an emergency because these things happen right so yeah this is what i usually take with me let's pack the bag together and the order of the things that i presented so the first thing is the jungle oats bar the cereal bar and then we have the painkillers, the pad, toilet paper, and then in they go, just like that. And then the bag is closed. See? Yeah, and everything fits in there. And you're just good to go. You're safe, you're sorted. Um having endo having endometriosis is very difficult going about your day in the day-to-day -day, in the everyday can be very difficult can be very taxing physically can be taxing emotionally and mentally so um i try my best to make my life as easy as i can as easy as possible and these are just a few tips and tricks that i've picked up and learned along the way to make life easier to make the day-to-day -day easier so if it's a flare i can solve it if i'm a little bit hungry and i need to take a painkiller i can solve it i need to pee i need to pee i need to pee 
oh i have toilet paper i can solve it so i hope this really helps you guys i hope you find it helpful uh of late i've received a lot of kind messages on my dms on instagram so if you don't follow me there follow me the header is right there and i'm not gonna lie this channel has been a lot emotionally it's taken me on so many emotional journeys i'll talk about that in a separate video though and i've just been receiving a lot of love i feel like god was like i feel like he, to me he was like my child i feel like you don't want to do this anymore like you're having your doubts because i was also asking myself but is, am i making an impact is this channel doing what i think it's doing is it doing what i would like it to do because in as much as it's helping me i get to vent i get to talk i get to share most people don't get it and you guys i feel like you do um it's also helping the next person and i feel like from the love that i've received from my the comment sections on the videos from the dms that i've received on instagram you guys have really been amazing and in Mishiosis, awareness month isn't over so that doesn't mean we stop liking or subscribing or sharing or even showing each other love so in the comment section show each other love thank you thank you thank you so much for loving me for affirming me for supporting me this is not easy but you guys make it a little bit i'm kidding you guys make it a whole lot easier for me so thank you thank you thank you for watching if you've gotten to the end of the video just subscribe you know you want to just subscribe don't forget to like the video uh click on the post notifications bell because i'm here and i didn't tell you that i'd be here so i can just pop up on you and it's nice to know that when i pop up you are ready for me so thank you guys so much for watching i love you i love you for watching i'll see you in the next one Bye. so many things are changing i'm in a world that's breaking